Swansea, Wales. Tim Claypole is the director of the Welsh Centre for Printing and Coating. This department of the engineering division at the University of Swansea has spearheaded the DIPL project, which is co-financed by European regional development funds. This laboratory and the expertise in the Welsh Centre for Printing and Coating are at the very heart of the DIPL project. DIPL has focused on developing best practice guides to enable the industry to become more competitive. It's also encouraged printers to innovate, looking at printing new devices such as smart packaging, printed electronics, and also biomedical applications. The printing industry employs over 28,000 people in the region, but has one major issue. Wales is a very remote region. Well, we're travelling now towards uh, Aberystwyth uh, to visit Cambrian printers. Uh, they are uh, one of the major employers in the area, but uh, as you can see, they're pretty remote. Uh, it's a major problem for a lot of small companies in the, in the Welsh printing industry. This distance poses numerous logistical problems and calls for these businesses to be particularly efficient and innovative to prove their added value to their client base. Cambrian Printers is a partner in the DIPL project. Tim Claypole and his team are carrying out a veritable technology audit in order to improve production quality and decrease the impact on the environment. Hello, Norman. Hi, Tim. Just come to do the breath testing on your operators for VOCs. Tim will ask the company employees to perform a breath test. These samples will allow him to detect the possible presence of airborne toxic agents inhaled by the workers. Quality control is another of DIPL's major aspects. This employee will verify color rendering by scanning the production samples. Unfortunately, this operation takes time and does not guarantee consistent quality. We return to Swansea to have a look at the region's SMEs. DIPL is an extraordinary research and development tool. We've been able to work with uh, GEM to test their electronic inks, printing them on transparent substrates, which could be a forerunner for them of printed electronics. It could also be used for smart packaging. Among other things, the Gwent Group produces printing industry inks. DIPL presents a huge opportunity for this small and highly specialised company. Uh, the DIPL project is very important to us because it allows us to develop materials on equipment that we couldn't afford to buy ourselves. Because we're actually only making the materials, our customers would use that type of equipment. But the cost of that equipment runs into millions of pounds these days. Back at the laboratory, the air samples have spoken. Certain toxic substances have been found in the digital department of Cambrian. So we improved the ventilation system and on the retesting, it appeared that the problem had been improved, and so much so that we are very confident that the environment here is extremely safe for our employees now. Tim Claypole's team has also developed a software program to solve quality control issues. As of now, this printing press is equipped with a scanner which allows for the control of color rendering every five pages. The DIPL project has allowed the Welsh printing industry to increase its competitiveness, to improve the quality of its production, and to decrease its impact on the environment. We've carried out 120 individual projects, which are the basis of case studies that we can apply elsewhere, and have given 180 pieces of advice to local companies. This has encouraged them also to innovate. The benefit can be seen in their turnover, which has increased in, in real terms by about 4 million. 